Today, we're heading to the Pontiac dealership to grab some brochures and take a brief look at the new 1967 Pontiac Grand Prix. Hi, we're Charge Ins Retro Cars. Welcome to our channel. Sit back with us and take a stroll down memory lane. Nineteen sixty seven was a great year if you're a Pontiac Grand Prix enthusiast. Not only did they make changes to the car that gave an aggressive low slung look to the one hundred and twenty one inch wheelbase and two hundred and fifteen point six inch overall length Grand Prix, it was also a year of several firsts. At the front it featured a first for Grand Prix with horizontally placed headlights that were hidden behind the concealed headlight doors. Above the concealed headlights were the high-mounted parking lamps on the outside front fender extensions. However, the biggest first would also be the last when they produced this beautiful luxury machine and a drop-top version for only one year. Of the 42,981 Grand Prix that rolled off the assembly line, just 5,856 were of the soft-top variety, making this convertible a highly sought-after Grand Prix amongst collector car enthusiasts. At the rear, Pontiac equipped the Grand Prix with horizontal taillights that were more in style with the GTO, giving the Grand Prix its own unique muscular look. Standard to the Grand Prix were the fender skirts that gave a smooth, continuous line to the body sculpting. Another exterior feature offered as dealer installed was the hood-mounted tachometer which could sell this Pontiac out as the performer that it was. Also from the dealer install list, you could even opt for exterior spotlights. You could have the spotlight mounted on the left or right. Available as a factory option, a buyer could have cornering lamps with the headlights on and the turn signal activated this would give the driver added road visibility. Pontiac offered the buyer 15 exterior colors to choose from, and a no-cost option was two full-length body paint stripes for the Grand Prix. Front-wheel disc brake option was available and included power brakes and heavy-duty 15-inch wheels. A new safety feature was a dual master cylinder brake system with warning light. Depending on whether you ordered the optional disc brakes or standard drum brakes, several wheels and wheel covers were available. Deluxe wheel disc chrome flash stainless steel with deep center section is standard on the Grand Prix. With the many standard and optional exterior features available on the Grand Prix to personalize your car, it was all wrapped up with dual exhaust to help the standard 400 cubic inch engine breathe. Standard to the Grand Prix was a premium fuel 400 cubic inch, 350 horsepower four barrel engine with 10 and a half to one compression and 440 pound foot of torque available as manual transmission and a turbo hydromatic as optional. Optional engine choice was a premium fuel 428 cubic inch version, 360 horsepower four barrel with 10 and a half to one compression ratio and 472 pound feet of torque and topped off with chrome rocker covers and oil filler cap. If you wanted even more, an optional 428 cubic inch, 376 horsepower version with a four barrel and 10 and three quarter to one compression ratio, 
462 pound feet of torque and a high output camshaft valve train and special exhaust manifolds topped with a low restriction chrome air cleaner chrome rocker covers and chrome oil filler cap a declutching fan and low back pressure dual exhaust a buyer could opt for at no cost and only available with the turbo hydromatic option the 8.6 to 1 compression ratio regular fuel 265 horsepower 397 pound feet torque 400 cubic inch two barrel engine to transfer all that power to the road the buyer has a fully synchronized floor mounted manual shift three speed transmission as standard when ordered with the optional bucket seats a fully synchronized Hearst linked four speed option was available when bucket seats and console were ordered. Extra cost automatic with column shift was available on all models except on Grand Prix convertible. A column shift automatic was a no cost option for the hardtop coupe if a customer ordered the Strato bench front seat with freestanding center armrest. With a host of interior options available on the Grand Prix hardtop coupe and convertible, some of the more notable was the air conditioning. The air conditioning could be upgraded even further with the automatic temperature control air conditioning option that allowed the temperature to be set at your preferred comfort level, and the automatic control will keep it there until you change it. Mounted under the rear package tray, a blower style rear window defogger was available to keep windows clear when needed. When power windows were ordered for your Grand Prix, the controls were located on a specially styled forward extension of the front armrest. A new, more simple, easier to operate cruise control was another available option. A deluxe steering wheel was a Grand Prix standard feature. Missing were the vent windows on the hardtop coupe, giving the coupe a clean look. Optional custom gauge cluster available with water temperature, oil pressure, and battery. Push button AM FM radio and stereo multiplex radios available. 8 track stereo tape player is also available. The Grand Prix hardtop coupe had several strato bucket seat options. Expanded Morakide in turquoise, blue, gold, black, burgundy, and parchment. The Princessa pattern cloth and expanded Morakide available in black or gold with optional right hand reclining and headrest at additional cost. Also for the hardtop coupe was the strato bench seat and center armrest available in expanded Morakide in black or parchment with right seat recline and headrest as optional. Lastly for the hardtop coupe was strato bench seat and center armrest with the princessa pattern cloth and expanded morakite available in black or gold with right seat recline and headrest as optional. For the convertible strato bucket seats were standard with expanded morakite in blue, black, parchment or red with right seat recline and headrest as optional. With the Carpathian Elm Burl grain instrument panel and console, the 1967 Grand Prix had an upscale visual appeal. A safety track differential and several gear options were available. It's easy to get your Grand Prix to the performance level you want, whether miles per gallon is what you're after or a luxury street sleeper. 
Additional features for the convertible were under dash courtesy lamps, a tonneau cover that kept your interior protected with the top down and could be left on when the driver is alone in the car while driving. Heavy gauge steel mesh anti-theft barrier could be dealer installed on your convertible to prevent entry to the trunk to protect valuables. As you can see, the list of standard and optional features were plentiful for the 1967 Pontiac Grand Prix. A customer could easily order a car with the features they desire for a practical family cruiser or a powerful full-size luxury car with sporty looks to match its performance. On to pricing and production. Let's start with some 1967 averages here. Uh, the average car cost $2,750 and equals $24,640 in 2023. The average household income was $7,300 and equals $65,409 in 2023. The average home was $14,250 equals $127,682 in 2023. Average gallon of gas, 33 cents. $1 in 1967 equals $8.96 in 2023. 1967 Grand Prix Convertible Production. 5,856 were produced. Base price, $3,813, which equals $34,165 in 2023. Grand Prix Hardtop Coupe Production, $37,125. Base price, $3,549 equals $31,816 in 2023. Thanks for sticking around to the end. I hope you have enjoyed this look at the 1967 Pontiac Grand Prix model lineup. Stay tuned, subscribe, and click the bell icon to know when we have more videos in the future where we will look back at other great American cars and trucks.